But anyway, as you know, we've been engaging in this little snarling tit for tat war with the Scotty Rollers. Yeah? It was tit for tat with the Scotty Rollers. So next minute, our good mate called Craig Arrowsmith. Boss kid. Used to work with me. No one else, me. Boss loyal kid. Loved him. He's gone to town for his birthday with his bird. His bird was one of them McLarens, you know, the, the associates of the Farleys. He's gone to the old 5 1 nightclub with his bird. Just small, he's only 19, his bird's only 18. They've gone for a night out, they've gone into the 5 1. When they've been in the 5 1, they've come across some of my enemies from Rice Lane. These enemies have been picking on him while he's with his bird. The nightclub ends, he comes out of the nightclub, he's going to get a taxi. These people appear and start terrorising him. Mo puts his girlfriend in a taxi, lets her go home. Mo stands there, has a little go at them. He's then chased. He's chased towards the Adelphi Hotel, which is just round the corner from the old 5 1. On this side, there's a wall, and it's about five foot big. Yeah, it's about five foot. On the other side, there's a hundred foot drop. It's under foot drop on the other side. Yeah? When he's been getting chased, he's vaulted this wall and took an under foot drop and snapped his neck at the bottom. No one ever convicted for it, although they know he was chased and was having a fight at the time. So he's jumped over, snapped his neck. So fast forward a few months. We're now going to his funeral. Normally where we're packing, where we're live, not where we're active. We're not because we're going to his funeral. We go to his funeral, we're, do, we're sending him his way, we're giving him a send-off as you do with all your close friends. Um, we're floating round. We've been to the funeral, we're in a 2.3 Galaxy Gaia X. No, just a Gaia actually. It's a 2.3 ZTEX Gaia, yeah? It's not an X. It's blacked out, it's dark blue. We're floating round. We've been to the funeral. We've been everywhere, we're stoned, we're pissed a little bit. You know, when you go to the wake, we're just floating round. Next minute, the kid who's with us, young Craig Barker, he's now being shot dead, God bless his soul, by William Moore. The kid that's with us, young Craig Barker, 18 years old, he used to be into the auto trader, and so did I, to be honest. We used to buy cars, spin them a little bit, you know, make a bit of dough. So, he's looking through the soda trader and he's looking for the MPVs because that was the thing back when we were kids. We liked MPVs, multi-purpose vehicles, yeah? So, he's gone in there and he spotted a new Galaxy. It's, it's an X-Reg 2001, which is around the area, not quite new. It's an X-Reg, but it's a 2.8 Gaia X. It's all leather, it's all electric, and it's got the screens in the headdress, you know, for the PS. So Craig encourages me to go and buy that. So we're off. We go to Southport. We buy this Jeep. Now you've got Craig. You've got Craig and Mark Richardson in the 2.3 Z-Tech. And you've got me and my youngest brother Ian in the 2.8 Gaia X Z-Tech. We're following each other now. We go, we paid 10 quid for it. This was years ago. We're, flo we're flowing it now. We go on the estate. We parked the 2.3 up outside my Mars. This is on the day of the shooting, yeah? 6th of April. We parked the car up outside, the Z-Tech up outside my Mars. And then we need, we need a cable. So the PlayStation 2, ISS Pro Evo 2, that's the times. You know, it's called Pro Evo now, but back then it was ISS 2 on a PlayStation. So anyway, we need a, we need a cable. So the wire can connect to the screens and the headrests. So we go to speak. We go to speak. We go to the Argos and speak because it was the only one that had the cable. So we fly there. We've got our weed on us and that. We get the cable. We've got the game. We put the PS on. There's a KFC there. So we're having a KFC, having a little spliff. We're on the game buzzing because we've got these computer screens and the headrest. Everything's fantastic. Everything's going sweet. Next minute I get a phone call off my mother. Come and get your washing. Now, before, when I said to you, I had a cafe with a flat upstairs. That was my flat. And it was just round the corner from my Mars. And I used to get my Ma to do the washing. 
Are you on it? So, got this phone call. There's about 16 bags of wash. You know where they've just gone too far. I said, Ma, get all my washing done for me. I'll give you a few ton. You know one of them. So she's got it all done, got it all dried, got it all nice and that for me. So to just take home and put it away, well, not me. Again, I used to give Marie Richardson, Spiff's Ma, something like 75 quid a week to sort me flat out and, you know, do it that a woman needs to do because I never had a real woman back then, you're on it. So anyway, forget all that. I get a phone call. Come and get your washing, Dad, and it's all done. Blah, I'm going out soon, so you better hurry up. Let's go, boys, to me Mars. As we go, it's it's getting now five o'clock. Ah, uh, five. It's coming a little bit dusk, yeah? So we're flying to me Mars. To get into the Crysdale close, there's one way in and there's one way out, but there's loads of openings with ballards that can't, so cars can't get through, but you can see through. If you're sitting, if you're sitting quite far away, you can watch our house with a binocular, yeah? So we've left the 2.3 Z-Tech up there. Now, normally, when we go round our close, when we normally go round our area, there's our response, bang, get out. For some reason, on this particular day, there's not a bit of filth anywhere. Nowhere. Not a cop car in sight. I don't even know why. So we go in the close. But as we're coming along Robson Street, we could see a car further down on the left with its lights, brake lights, that's all we could see. We automatically thought it was Jack's, but it wasn't. It was someone watching the Z-Tech. It was someone watching the 2.3 Z-Tech, waiting for us to get in the Z-Tech and go out. But when we pulled up in the new Galaxy, that was identical to it. There was just one letter difference on the reg. So it was X blah blah blah, XMB. Yeah, but on the new one, it was XDB. So that, that was the only difference. And the engine and the interior, both buses were tinted. Both were fully tinted, yeah? So we go in, get the washing, ba 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 bam At this point, I'm in the passenger seat. My youngest brother's driving. Mark Richardson is directly behind me. And Craig is on that side. They're playing on ISS. I asked Craig... To come and help me because Craig lives facing me, Mars. His mum lived facing my mum, and they used to go to bingo together and be like that sort of friend. You're on it. So I've asked Craig to come and help me with the washing. We've gone in, we've got the washing, got the washing, got the washing. And I've said to Craig, I wanted the game, I want to go with the game now, lad. You jump in the passenger seat. So he's jumped in the passenger seat. I've jumped in the back, been driving. Coming out the close towards my flat. So as you come out the close, there's one direction. My flat will be on the right about 100 yards up above the cafe. So as we're coming out to do the right towards my flat, my youngest brother Ian goes, get on that Monday, oh, with its lights off. So it's parked in the street just facing our, end, our exit. You know where we come in and out? There's another street facing. It's parked at the top of that with its lights off. So as we're driving that way, our Ian goes, get on that car with its lights off. I've told Ian to stop and reverse. So it's like a T now. So that's their car and this is us. So we're looking that way at the car. The person in the car hasn't got a balaclava on. He has all on. He's got his hand covering his face. It is who it is. We know who he is. He got off with the, with the murder but got a manslaughter and now he's released. But now he's wanted because he's a dirty drug dying drug dealer. So anyway... As we're looking at this car side on, we're all focused on the driver, yeah? I say to me, I say, um, as we're focused on this, this solitary figure in the front of the car, the back door, the back passenger door opens by itself. So I'm on that. They're still looking at the driver, but I'm on the back door opening. And I'm saying, whoa, how come that back door's just opened? As I've said that, the gunman had been lying chest down on the back seat so you couldn't see anyone else in the car. If you looked at the car, you'd think there was one person on board, but really there was two. The gunman, SAS trained Darren Waterhouse, a Goldstream guard, was lying face down on his chest in the back of the car. He's pushed the back door open and got out feet first. He's got out foot first in a crouched position. So he's crouched behind the back door and you can't see him because he's not above the window, if you know what I mean. And the angle of our car, we could only see the door, not the lower half of the door. He's crouched behind that. 
Within a flash, he's popped out. Bang! Let one shot off at the passenger window. As soon as he let that one shot off, he went vroom, 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 vroom. Zigzagged up to the car. Have you seen when shoulders move? <laughs> he's on the car in a flash. He's ran up to the passenger seat. Ran up to the passenger seat with a 9mm Glock fully loaded. He's attacked the passenger seat. He's got Craig with his Glock there, point blank, thinking it's me. Don't get that twisted. He's being told to go for the passenger seat, fully expecting it to be me in the passenger seat. But we just changed seats over the computer game. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now this gunman is there. Working down Craig sternum into his abdominals, point blank. Do you understand what I'm saying about that? Point blank to his chest, working down his sternum. Now where Craig's on the passenger seat, the gunman's at the passenger window. Craig's trying to get away from the gunman. Craig has now gone across the central aisle and leaning on Ian. Craig's back is on my youngest brother, Ian. The gunman is now waist deep in the car, following Craig, not letting him go anywhere. I'm here. I'm watching this. Mark, who sat next to me, has been clipped by a bullet. These bullets that are in the car are ricocheting all over the path. The bullets that have gone in Craig, seven in total, all came out the back of him and ended up in my youngest brother. Lower half of his body. Mark Stretch has been hit in the back with one of the bullets. When I'm in this car, everything starts going slow for me. You hear the Matrix. That's what happened to me. And I'm not lying. So let me give you the situation. The gunman's pounced. He's there, he's letting his shots off. Everything is going slow but me. If that makes sense to you. The bullets. One, two, three. Slow. When in reality, it's bang, 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 bang. So in this situation, in this car, I can see the bullets going. I can hear them flying past me. I can see all mad going dead slow. Everything that's going on is going slow. It's me. I'm moving at real time. I'm sat there looking at the gunman. He's not ballied up. It looks like he's just had an eighth of stone on a crack pipe and went for it. Ah, raging. I'm looking at him from about here to there. But with the car being tinted and it's dead dark in the back, it was weird. Everything's going slow. Anyway, what took 30 seconds... Felt like it took 10 minutes. I heard the car screech off. I've opened the back door. I've jumped out. Mark Richardson's opened his door and screeched away like I've never seen him again till he got put in custody for the revenge attack. Anyway, Mark screeched out. I've jumped out of my door, opened Ian's door. Ian's fell out, holes all over him, piss blood and out of him. I've had to pick Ian up, put him on the back seat of the car. I had to get Ian, put him on the back seat of the car. I've had to push Craig back over into the passenger seat of the car. I've had to get in the car, start the engine up and head towards the Royal Liverpool Hospital. So that's what I'm doing now. As soon as the shooting stopped, bang, I went into, I went into reactive mode. Boom, need to save these kids. Got them over there, got Craig in the Pazzy and I'm heading towards the Royal Liverpool Hospital. As I'm getting to the, there's blood pissing all over them. There's blood out coming out of them, screaming for the mothers. You know what it's like? Well, you mightn't do, because you've never been in this situation, but trust me, it's scary. But I'm calm and collective for some reason. I'm heading towards the hospital. I'm getting there, but there's a bullet lodged in the gearbox, and it's stuck in second gear. And now second gear will not come out in second gear. So I'm redlining it. Next minute, the gearbox blows. So I'm stuck on Everton Road now, outside the View Social Club. I'm stuck there. So we're stuck by the View now. I've had to get out of the, the galaxy again. There's a car behind me, which is a black escort. 
The driver of the Escort was Terry Matthews' sister. I've gone to her car. She's look, because I'm covered in blood. You know where I've been wrestling with Ian, getting them back on the seats. And I'm covered in blood. Look, Gatti, you're on it. I'm at her car now. Give us your car. She's refusing, so I've had to push the window through, drag her out, go back, get Ian, drag Ian to the car. Never got him in the back. He's told me to leave him. I've went back to Craig, got Craig, and he was, you know, he was a big kid. He was 18 stone. I'm just a 75 kilogram kid. So I've got this, I've got Craig, I'm dragging him back to the car, get him into the car, try to get Ian in again, he tells me to leave him, right as soon as I leave him, an arm response comes and puts Ian in the boot and gets him to the hospital, I've got Craig in my car with me, I'm going to the hospital, I drive to the hospital, as I'm getting close to the reception, I ram into a few poles, I jump out of the car, I'm starting to get Craig out, trying to pull him out the car, then all the doctors appear, Within 10 minutes of that, I've got arm response putting me on the floor, arresting me for the murder of me mate. They put me in a room and then de-arrest me about 15 minutes later when Craig's ma and my ma comes into the hospital. And that's it. 